This is a MyTechSpective.com first look at how easy the new version of Hype lets you insert HTML widgets into iBooks Author. So the new version of Hype came out today. It's version 1.5. It sells for $49.99 in the App Store. It is an HTML5 authoring tool and animation tool that really does a great job and part of the new features of the new version is the ability to easily create animated HTML widgets for iBooks Author which we know in iBooks Author that has been one of the big questions because if you wanted to do it up until now you either had to have dash code which is more of a developer tool or have a good knowledge of the files that make up a widget and try to do it manually both of which would take a little bit of time. What the new version of Hype does is make this a lot easier and takes all of the heavy lifting out of it in my opinion. So what we want to show you is uh, first launching Hype and we'll make a simple animation and then uh, put it into iBooks Author to show you just how easy this is. So I'm going to launch pad. I'm actually launching Hype here and we will see the main interface come up here and what I'm going to do, and this is not a tutorial about hype, there's more on that and I may do more on that later, but I want to do just a simple animation. So I'm going to put together uh, three different boxes. I'm just going to uh, draw one here onto the canvas and then command C for copy, command V for paste here on the Mac. Do that a couple of times so I now have three squares and get those lined up and you can see that there is a canvas or stage area if you're familiar with flash and there is also a timeline the animation paradigm if you will is a little bit different with hype and it has to do with recording your animation so I'm just going to move the playhead out here to the two second mark I'm going to turn on recording and I'm going to move these items away to where I want them to end up. Now this is again a very simple implementation of hype. We could uh, be changing the colors of these these boxes, all kinds of things like that. But for the purposes of this, we really just want to show an animation and how easy it is to insert. So I'm going to come back out here to the four second mark. I'm going to actually make these go somewhere else. And you see how the animation path is being drawn as we go along here. And so now if I want to, I'll turn recording off. And now if I want to preview this, I can just hit play on the timeline. And we'll see how that animation goes. So this might be, you know, some kind of animation that describes a process. You can also add interactivity, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to come up here and insert a button that will replay this. I'm not going to worry about um, animating this or doing the other states of hover and press. You can do that very easily here. I'm just going to make this a replay button. So now I have the replay button there. I need to assign an action to it. So over here in the inspector, the actions, the action on mouse click is going to be jump to scene. And I want to do the first scene, which will have the effect of going back to the beginning to play the animation. So now I can actually preview this in the browser. I'll choose Safari. We'll bring up Safari. You can see how the animation happens. The squares animate. And then if I want to replay, I can do that again, thanks to the button. So very easy to do. And now comes the real easy part, getting this into iBooks Author. So all I'm going to do here is go up here export as HTML5 dashboard iBooks author widget. I'll give it a name. I'm just going to call it iBooks author widget and save it to my desktop. And it appears up here. So this is a widget. It's ready to go. So now I'll go into iBooks author. I'm just going to use the Earth Science template. And again, this is not a tutorial on iBooks Author. I'm just going to go ahead and delete a few things here. 
I will do a tutorial sometime in the future about iBooks Author, all kinds of potential in this program for iPad content. I think it goes beyond just textbooks, but we're talking about widgets here and how easy this is. So I'm going to go up here to widgets and insert HTML. I'm going to expand this out a little bit. You can play around with the titles and everything here. All I'm going to do though right now is take that widget that I have on my desktop, drag it in here, and you're good to go. If you want to at this point, we can actually hit this edit HTML button, which will have the effect of previewing the functionality of our widget, which works great. And so at this point, I can go ahead and preview it on my iPad, which I won't show you here, but you just press the preview button and it would preview there and work great. And just to show you under the hood what is going on here besides what we've seen so far, just to show you the heavy lifting that Hype is doing, I'm going to go to the Finder and I'm going to go to Desktop and to the iBooks Author widget that we just created. I'm going to control click to get show package contents and this will actually show us that Hype created all of these files. It created the info plist file which is a data file with all the information about the widget. It created the main HTML page for the widget and it created the resources for that widget which are some JavaScript files here and it also created the default graphic that goes in at the beginning. So all of these files were created right out of Hype and we didn't have to use dash code, we didn't have to use any knowledge of how widgets go together. Hype has done all of that for us. So that's a quick look at using Hype to create an HTML widget. Hope you've enjoyed it. This has been a MyTechSpective.com first look.